Right, so just to give you guys a quick rundown for the evening, we're going to have Zayn versus Wacho first. And then after that, it's going to be Crime versus JLM. Then it will be Rizumu versus Jehosan at 8 pm. At 9, we have myself versus Mini Beast. And at 10 o'clock, it is Zayn again versus Stephanie. So you're going to have to run the gauntlet of two sets this evening. This is the first one. Let's see how he gets on. Alright, let's get some packages in the chat, guys. Get hype! So he is going Guile. I don't blame him. I'm sure Zane's going to be practicing this matchup with his VDB teammate, Mini Beast. Ooh, cross up roundhouse? Oh man. Poor oh, Barog. This is it. Zane's going right where he wants him though. That's it. Back up a little bit. You're good. You've got the screen to work with. Oh, he gets hit with the Wacho in the first round. Let's go. Give it to him, Wacho. Yeah, fuck up his charge. It's right. Oh, good block on the flash kick. Oh, I thought he might headbutt again. I really did. I thought he was going to do it. Yeah, Jeef has left the building, guys. Jeef the Queef is no more. Now we have VDB Zane. A.K.A. Young Zane. Oh, nice from Wacho. Oh, he drops the combo. It's unfortunate. Nice headbutt through the Sonic Boom. Oh, that hit so meaty. Oh, and he gets it with an overhead. Shut up. Ah. Oh. This is just the first game. There is no respect here. Yo, Lil Six, thanks for the host, brother. Hope you guys are doing good over there, man. Oh, and that is huge. Oh, my God. Into the overhead. Oh, I hit him in the same side. Oh, that's linked. That would have stunned for sure. That would have stunned him out for sure. Nice. And anything now. Oh, I like it. I like it. Why not? Why not? You were done anyway. Might as well have a go. That's why pineapple, that's why. So he can do that. Alright, so Wacho going up 1-0 here. Damn, that was a crazy first game, yo. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh, these two are looking really even. It's funny we've seen uh, so many of these sets where Barrow gets to play patiently and you know uh, dictates the pace of the match a bit, a bit more. But in this matchup, he has to go in all the time. He can even on a life lead. He can't sit there against Kyle. Oh, 
Yeah, if he's got charge and he sees something coming in, a turn punch or something, a dash punch, he can react to it with Ultra 1. I think it's probably better than Ultra 2 as well. Oh, again, a good jump in from Watcher. Nice flash kick. Hey, what's up, Varric? Alright, so it looks like Zane's gonna even up here, and he does. I think I should be okay. Sorry, just doing some messing around with the scoreboard there. I moved everything ever so slightly to one side to fit the schedule in today. And my scoreboard is this, like, it's the most ghetto shit ever, right? And so I just had to move everything over to the side by, like, a little bit. Do some adjusting there live on the screen, you know? But I think, we, I think we're good. I always forget, every time I change something on the stream, I forget there are consequences. Hey, to Le Mans. What's up, my brother? Oh, nice focus from Zane. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Stun combos, as we know, though, they are the hardest of all the combos. Nice from Wattro. These two are scrapping, man. It's good shit. chasing oh nice ultra very nice still got work to do though oh empty jump nice oh he's almost even up the life that is gonna even it oh, that gives it oh what an overhead as well nice comeback there from zane really well played Two runs is eight. I've seen it a bit in tournaments over the years, but I've not, you know, watched it personally myself all that much. But I think Gal does well because Balrog has to constantly approach. He can never sit on the life lead and play his defensive game that he wants to. Like if Barrow gets in on Gaal, he's got very low life and he gets stunned easy. Um, so I think Gaal wins, but he has to play it perfect. He has to play it perfect. He can't afford to make any mistakes. 
He's got to pick and choose his anti-airs carefully, decide when he's not going to anti-air, you know. And then if he gets caught, he's just got to be fishing for a back throw or a jump out and then take the screen again. Because in the, at this range, you know, he wins all day. Dash punch doesn't reach. He can, you know, he can do focus and stuff at that range as well. And there you go, out the corner, do the sonic booms again. Guacho is the one that has to make the plays, you know, he has to have a good turn punch for a projectile or make a good read of uh, spending an EX bar to get in. Zane's only real choice is, am I going to Sonic Boom or am I going to Flash Kick? I feel like he's playing a bit more aggressive than he should be. And this is why I think Gaia wins, because, you know, if he just continues to play like that and not get hit, then it looks good. Hey, you loose, what's up, man? Oh, and we got Shinto in here as well. Shit. Let's go, guys. Oh, nice. I think he tried to OS there with the sweep. Maybe he's just making a read. And there he's got it. He's identified the sweet spot where if Balrog jumps and you just don't challenge, just you're safe. He can't hit you. Oh, nice headbutt again. He's had pretty good success with the headbutts already. Again, you see there he had a life lead and then Gold just got to run away from him and it's bad times. Oh, nice air to air. It's a good choice. I think Wacho has decided to mix it up and use a few more dash straights because every time he was doing the EX up, uh, uh, Zane was just low profiling and getting a combo. Oh, he went for the flash kick and just missed it. Right, so it's going to be free one Zane here. Wins. Right, so maybe one sec, guys. I'm just going to quickly grab a drink while these guys are ready up. Just in time. Made my cup of tea too early, guys. I ran out of tea before we'd even got started on the first set. Yo, what's up, Juni? Right, again, we're not seeing many anti airs from Wacho. Getting away with sort of random short jump ins, just trying to create a scramble. Oh, I'm really nice from Wacho there.
Nah, it's not the same cup. It's not, it's a different cup. Gotta have that tea. Oh, is that a punish? Oh, it was a pretty good attempt. I think he was reading the Sonic Boom, maybe, but... Alright, nice from Zane. That makes so much more sense. Makes so much more sense. I understand that. Nice cup of English tea. <laughs> I did my drinking on New Year's Eve and Christmas Day. Oh, that's it for me. I'm back to tea for the rest of the year. Go nice anti air from Zane. We'll take the trade all day. So, this is looking really tough for Wacho. Showed a few party tricks early on, but the solid gameplay alone is not. It's not producing the results. I think he needs to go in more. He needs to create some pandemonium, do some Balrog shit. More, you know, more low rushes and stuff. Try and high-low mix him up. Confuse him. Against Guile, you have to test them. You just have to test them. You have to test their reactions and their, you know, what they're looking for when they're playing. You just need to put them under pressure and see what they do and how they handle it. At the moment, he's playing Balrog's game still and trying to play it honestly and trying to get through against Garl and it's not working out. Alright, missing the flash kick again. Let me tell you something about that combo, it is not easy, man. Not easy at all. Alright, spends the bar, still doesn't get the stun, I'm surprised. Yeah, Zane's looking real good right now. He's just putting up the wall. The impenetrable, impenetrable fortress of Sonic Booms. There we go, he's in. He's got to make it count. Nice flash kick as well. Yeah, might as well. Nice again from Zane. There's been so many times where Zane has done like a sonic boom and he's clearly been standing and walking backwards and that's the time for Wacho to try and jump in and put pressure on. And instead he's jumping in when he's got crouch in charge and he's getting flash kicked. It needs to be, you've got to look, as soon as you see Gal give up that down charge, that's your time to try and bully him and try and, you know, take your turn while he can't flash kick you because then he has to choose his anti-air from... Uh, you know, a list of very specific normals. The world's fiercest fighter 
All right, five one. Buck two is gonna have to find an answer pretty soon. Again, it's just not, you can't, oh my god, it was quick enough. I'm like, there's no way he's doing on the rea that on reaction. It's not fast enough. And he got him. Oh, good tech. I still think about that ultra, man. That ultra is so good. I can't believe at that point he managed to ultra through the sonic boom he was i thought he was either getting hit by the sonic boom or he, it, the ultra was getting blocked because it wasn't fast enough yeah today's ridiculous man ridiculous all the american sets are absolutely insane as well i'm gonna be sat here for the next 12 hours i'd imagine all right back to us looking good here nice and he gets himself back on the scoreboard All right, it's nice. He's broken the streak, finally. That ultra was incredible. I can't believe it went through the sonic boom. I really thought he was going to get hit. All right, so let's see how this works now. Not even Yeah, so uh, one one frame, the head honcho of BBD decided that he didn't want Jeef the Queef to be called Jeef the Queef anymore. So he recruited him, paid his train fare, and now he is BBD Zane. <laughs> oh, really nice block from Zane, but he still gets hit by the headbutt. Oh, oh he went for overhead again. I like it. Oh, what a neutral jump fierce. That was sick. Yeah, but it was like there. Got to see it coming, man. Nice flash kick. Nice safe jump. Oh, again, good block on the overhead. And you know what? He would have got hit by a headbutt again. He would have got hit by the headbutt again. Wacho, just do the headbutt again. Do it. Ooh, he could have had ultra off that. That was really unfortunate. Now or never. Yeah. Oh, 
Alright, he's looking good. Still looking good. We've got Bart to get in. Ooh. Hit him with a point. Oh, what a headbutt. He's going to get the ultra as well. Oh, again, he's putting himself in that range where if he was just a little bit further back, he could be crouch piercing all day. And he's almost walking underneath where he's putting himself in the pressure. Oh, that's big damage because of the uh, focus attack. As long as he doesn't get ultra here, he should be okay. Nice. Well played from Wacho. Alright, that's nice. Not only did he break the momentum, but he's got a little bit of his own going. So I, I predicted 7-5. Seven, 7-5 five, seven, five Zane. That's currently 5-3, so we'll see what happens. I love that setup for Balrog after the Ultra, where you take the turn punch and the head back, you build some bar, confuse the charge character, you know, get out the corner. Oh, this is a really nice pressure from Wacho. Oh, nice, I respect it, spend the bar just to make sure. I think he tried to upside down kick the rush punch then. That would have been sick. Alright, oh, tries to meet turn punch again. No punish from Zane. This man will just headbutt you. He does not care. Oh, and he hits him with overhead right at the end. Damn, that was a pretty fast game. I just need one more now to tie this up. Alright guys, we got ourselves a set right here. Sonic move! 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 Sonic
And it shows you how perfectly Gara has to play because they hit him with so many sonic booms and then, you know, one one hit and one trade, back throw. Already lost the life lead. Nice focus. He's going to get the ultra. Nice. Good flash kick as well. I can't believe the turn punch didn't hit either. It's good reaction from Wacho. Oh, I believe. Yes, I understand now. Oh, I like it. Walk back in throat. And that's where he's got to be looking for that jump. Zane's been jumping there a lot in that situation. Oh, and he does hear him with the overhead. I can't believe it. No ultra? Oh, he didn't have ultra. Ah. Damn. I was looking at Zane's ultra. I was like, oh, yeah, ultra for the game, but he'd already spent it. All right. So Zane's going to move on to set point here. Alright, so Zane's looking to close this out here. Yeah, Ratcho's had to spend so many bars just on a simple EX rush punch just to try and get in, close the space. from Zane. Alright, just one more round's gonna take it. That's crazy, the Sonic Boom is on the screen for so long. <laughs> oh, nice face punch. Nice, good read from Zane. Oh, Zane missed the flash kick. Oh, 
Oh, that was so unfortunate. I think he just he started using the low rushes there, but it was that's what he needed to do that games ago. That's what he needed to be doing, mixing it up, showing the overhead, and then just sweeping his legs repeatedly. It was well played from both. I think you can see there why the matchup's very difficult for Balrog.